Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on? Cuts by Reggie. Back with another video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all the good stuff that comes along with uh, being on YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> today, I am, I was in here and I was about to give myself a haircut. So if anybody want to enter this self-cut challenge, I, I, <clears throat> I challenge you to the self-cut challenge. Uh, y'all do whatever y'all do to y'all heads, I'm gonna do to mine, right? But while I was here, I thought I'll talk about the vanish a little bit from um, Wild. Shout out to Wild that actually sent this to me. Uh, the price of it is $129 from their website. I have seen it on Atlanta Barber for $103, I believe. So $129 from their website, but you can get it cheaper. I haven't looked at any other uh, websites to see if it's cheaper than $103 but those are the two prices that i have for now this is the newest uh shaver from wild dropped uh i think maybe from the day that i'm shooting this video it dropped like a week ago all right i don't know when this video is actually coming out so yeah but from the time of right now it came out about a week ago uh, <clears throat> excuse me got something stuck in my throat this is a season for that pneumonia weather my mama used to be talking about you know what i mean but Either way, bump free foils, 100 minutes of runtime. Uh, I have been using this a little bit on uh, different, trying to use it on different textures, different heads and all that. Uh, so I thought, why not today use it on myself since I need to clean myself up anyway. Um, <clears throat> have, if you haven't seen my unboxing, this is the machine. This is the Vanish machine. Um, power button front right here fully charged you get that when you plug when it dying when it's dying all of these lights light up all at one time um and then once you put it on a charger it starts to um it give you like a little animation of all the all the lights trying to charge as far as the runtime it gives a hundred it says a hundred minutes of runtime with a shaver sometimes it's hard maybe not for some but i wish i could like record like, I wish I could set up the shaver and just have it running continuously to see. I don't have recording uh, uh, devices for that, but uh, it's hard to get a full see if it runs for that time because not every, not all of my clients use the shaver. I cut a lot of kids. I cut a lot of people that's sensitive. Uh, so I can really get a gauge of how it performs. It's hard for me to get a gauge sometimes on if it lasts that 100 minutes that they say it does. It haven't died on me yet. Uh, when I got it, it was a long, on a low battery, so I did put it on a charger. Uh, it started dying. So at the end of one of these nights, I put it on the charger. So I haven't really got to the uh, full dying of the, of the shaver. But nonetheless, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But that's the shaver. But it, it's so I don't know if y'all can see. I wish I had another foil here. To kind of compare like using this on different textures of her it seemed like the holes are just not bigger but like i don't know it's something about it where it glides a, a look a lot smoother on certain heads without actually putting any effort into it if y'all haven't known my shaver that i have been using so far for a while is the fx3 from uh babeless 99 dollars you can use my discount code save you some money on that but for me this has been the only one that has been giving it a good run for its money this has besides the andy shaver the andy shaver with like the t shaver was a good shaver but i didn't really like that design i like i like the block design when it comes to shavers i don't need no no other design really you know what i'm saying i like this so anyway we're gonna get to shaving my head. And for my for my uh trimmer, I'm going to use the Glacker uh trimmer. I will talk about this in another video, or I have already talked about it in another video, but this was sent to me from the company Glacker. If y'all can see that, there it go. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. Matter of fact, I don't know why I took them off because I need these just for a little bit, because I am like legally blind you hear me 
put my mirror right here. But we're gonna just start knocking it down with the shavers real quick. With the with the trimmers. And like I said, as far as the shaver, we're gonna use the Vanish from Wall. Uh, like I said, the price of it, 129 on their website and um, 103 on atlantabarber.com. Uh, like I said, the foils, the holes are like nicely spaced. It's like, it just, it grabs a lot smoother. I haven't used it on myself yet, but using it on others it seems like it's a it's a good glide without putting effort it just goes you know what i'm saying so uh the the button on the front not that it's a problem but so of course things can be different so when i say that i'm used to something being in a different place it's not the fact that everybody should stick to that i'm just saying that's what i'm normally used to so like I've been using the FX3 and the uh, power button is on the front. I mean on the side. But it's on it, you know it's on the front right here. Not that it's been a problem, it's just different different design. You know what I mean? I do like this design. In my unboxing I was talking about it being more gold because they have been advertising it in a sense of the uh gold magic clip, gold detailer, then the shaver. I I was saying I wish it was more gold since it's that that trio but I do like that they didn't go full gold and they was talking about a or they was advertising somewhere that it was going to be a full gold shaver coming out I thought it was going to be the finale I don't know if they just canceled the, the the gold whatever it was and just went with this to match it up but I do like that it's the the black with a little bit of gold instead of the full gold with a little bit of black but when i first opened it i kind of was was wanting a full gold shaver to really complete that set you know what i mean but i do like i do like the uh all black that's the sound of it got a little hum to it it's not crazy i don't know how it sound in the camera but it's not crazy uh but yeah so that's a smooth cut i should have left I should have left a little bit more hair on uh, on the side here to see how thick it can go against her. Because like using the Andis, the T shaver, the the T design, like you can have a little bit longer hair and it it goes straight through it. Even I I I have a home use a skull shaver, and if you got a little bit extra hair, it goes through it. You know what I mean? It don't have to be cut down to a certain length. So that's cool. But this is smooth, no irritation whatsoever. Uh, certain shavers I use, it break me out. Uh, by the time I edit this, if I am broke out, I will let y'all know. But like I said, it's real smooth. No irritation whatsoever. I like the way it feel. Got enough power, just a smooth glide. Making sure I'm stretching that skin to really get get a full, a clear shave. I always say, I always tell my clients, if you go to a barber and you get a bald head and they not rubbing your head, they not they not being nice with your head, they ain't really getting you a clean shave. You know what I mean? 
when you when you when you shaving somebody ball or when you shaving yourself ball, you need to you need to rub that thing because over here I'm smooth. But if I just quickly go over it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might leave a little little rough patch. So just make sure you're rubbing your rubbing your client's scalp. Clean this out a little bit as I go. So in my uh, in my unboxing, I was like, I don't know what they meant by individual bars, but this is what they are uh, individual foil. This is what they mean in, in a sense of it's not just one full piece. Um, so cool, I guess. You know what I mean? Uh, especially when you try and, when you need to buy a new one, you don't have to use the. You can buy you a full a full shaver and just you know replace one of them and then keep keep the other one that comes in a pack you know what i'm saying so that's cool nothing crazy but it's cool and as far as accessories that this come with it comes with the cleaning brush and a charger one thing i thought would have been cool with this is coming with a charging dock because they're again they putting it in with that they putting it in with the magic clip and the uh detailer and both of those come with a charging dock, so it would have been cool to have the uh, shaver also come with a dock. And I've been using it maybe about, um, maybe a week. You know what I mean? Uh, it's been so busy. I haven't really been able to get a lot of footage due to it being the holidays. Uh, from the time of me filming this, it's like literally the day after Thanksgiving. Not the day after. A couple days after Thanksgiving. So, it's been a busy week and I've been using it over the week of Thanksgiving. So, I will try to get some footage before I actually put this video out though. Um, see what I can put together. Because in between this coming out, I actually do have a few other reviews. And I'm working on getting a new camera. I've been using my iPhone. And as far as reviews and stuff, the iPhone has been good. But I feel like I need to get more haircut, like haircut videos. But I can't use my phone as much because that's my business phone. So when I'm recording, sometimes I get calls mid haircut and... I might be on the phone a little longer. Maybe it's my wife. Maybe it's my kids. Maybe it's just clients. So I might end up. I have done a few heads where I started filming and then get a call and forgot to film, start filming back. Or, you know, because while I'm on the phone, I can't tell my client, hold on. I'm going to start recording again in a second because I got people waiting. You know what I mean? So um, I need to get me a, a separate camera where I can also also do more recording of full haircuts, put a few more tutorials out, stuff of that nature. That thing's smooth, boy. That thing's smooth, boy. It's a challenge to anybody, self-cut challenge. <laughs> self-cut challenge to everybody out there. That's how it worked, right? I cut my hair, and then I, I challenged people to cut their own hair. It's not my fault that I'm, you know, I'm going, I'm, I'm doing a bald head. You know what I mean? That's on you, whatever cut you want to do. You know what I'm saying? One thing, too, though, with them being just one bar, I guess, if you do put a pull of pressure in, it'll push one of them bars in. I don't know if y'all can see that. It'll push one of them bars in. So you got to kind of get it back on on track. But uh, I never had that problem with nothing else. So I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just too heavy handed. You know what I mean? That's my little review of the shaver. Uh, is it worth the buy? Yeah, it's cool depending on what else you also are using. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you don't have a shaver, based on the price, I would choose this or the FX3. Um, if you get in the FX3, it's $99.
If you're getting this, it's 129. Uh, or if you're getting it from Atlanta Barber, it's 103. So the price is pretty close depending on where you're buying from. I say this is worth the buy. If you in the need of a new shaver, if you just looking to try something new, I think you should definitely try the Vanish from Wild. Uh, I like it. I like it. I don't like that I get little smudge prints in the front of this, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's nice, lightweight. Um, it's a little bit a little bit heavier than the FX3 if you held the FX3, but it's not heavy in the sense of like, oh my God, this is like, you know what I mean? It's not like the, uh, the all metal FX shavers. It's not that, but you know, got the little plastic body grooves. But yeah, if you're looking for a new shaver, I say definitely try that out. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all the good stuff. Try the Vanit Shaver. Get you some beard oil from Beard Guru. Let me get out the let me get out the shot. See if we can boom. Try you some of that beard oil. And yeah. And there we go. Peace.